Hey, what's up everyone? I'm John Simpson with Allsafe Industries. I wanted to talk to you about a new product from the folks at HasSim, and that's the HasSim Pro 2.0. A very cool, sleek, innovative, easy to use training tool for students training in response to hazmat incidents and confined space incidents in regards to detection of hazardous atmospheres. Oh, I should probably mention that it was invented and developed by a career firefighter in hazmat tech. I've been a fire and hazmat instructor for several years. And when we talk about cognitive learning and forming that basis of knowledge, we typically think of a classroom setting. Things like how the meter was designed and developed, how it's to be used, uh, sensor theory, alarm limits, exposure limits, what those values on the face of the meter really mean. And all of that is important. It's critical. But how do we take that next step into scenario-based training and develop critical decision-making, applied learning? How do we reinforce safe, tactical decision-making for that next real-time incident in a realistic scenario? That's what we have when we talk about the HasSim Pro 2.0. So I told you that the kit or system was easy to use. It includes a rugged touchscreen laptop that can be converted into a pad, a contained local area network that can expand up to a thousand feet. And from that, the data is pushed out to the portable units and we can configure those units based on input from the instructor onto the laptop for four gas meter, a multimeter, all the way to radiation and WMD uh, meter faces or what they call skins onto the portable units. So for example, I can input as the instructor a multi-gas on one and a radiation face or skin on the other and you can see it referenced on the portable unit. So that instructor can change or manipulate the values being seen by the student in the training exercise. In addition, the system is interactive. The instructor can send out questions that using the A and B button, the student in the live training exercise can answer. So here's an example on this portable unit where I as the instructor manipulated the levels of the CO to read 43 parts per million, clearly going over the alarm limits. You can hear and see the audible alarm. Now as a student, I have to make a decision tactically about what I'm seeing in this hazardous atmosphere. Something else to mention is that a laptop or server can support a lone unit or multiple units, depending on the needs of the class. So as you can see, there are various training scenarios that can be developed based on your objectives. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out to us at allsafeindustries.com. As always, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.